All right, so I got some more used stuff in, so I thought I'd do another video. Um, technically, this isn't used, but we'll get there. Um, this and this should be the same thing, just this one doesn't have the box, but you never really know what's going to be inside these. <laughs> like I said, some of these come from Goodwill auctions and stuff. I've got another Robotics and Vengeance system. I know I did three of those last time. This one has at least one thing that's different than the others, which should be cool. So let's get started. So just to start things off, this is what I unboxed last video, and I couldn't believe it. This set was complete. <laughs> like in the video, I think I said multiple times, it's not complete, but it is absolutely complete. So um, uh, how's this thing work? Yeah. <laughs> These very dangerous uh, toys. Uh, you know, you've got like a they give a warning in here, like yeah, don't don't. Uh, don't put your eye out, kid. But um, really cool. The figure that came with it, the Technic figure, is complete. He even has a helmet and visor, um, which is awesome because I don't have one of these guys anymore. So this, that's really cool. Um, so of course you would you know battle these with with your friend or your brother or whoever. And uh, let's see if you hit the target, then it opens up and does that and then you can't fire anymore um it even had the ball that it came with i think this is the same size as the ones that come with the nxt just a different color uh, and then it's got the little cones here so uh, just blown away that a thrift store <laughs> auction this was complete so i had to show that off okay so inside the first package this one is not used but um I just didn't know what else to do as far as unboxing this. So these are newspapers. No. Um, they seem to be packaged pretty well. All right. These are 3D printed monorail tracks. Now, you can probably already tell they don't look super great. They're not going to match the color of um, these. Actually, maybe look a little different than the last ones I bought, but they they seem to work well enough. Um, they fit together with the tracks just fine. Um, motors don't skip any when they're trying to go from the teeth here to the teeth on another track, old or new or these, you know. Um, so my, for me, I'm mostly do like tech, tech demos and stuff. I'm not really building huge monorail layouts that need to look good. Um, there's not really many Lego conventions near me. So they work fine for me. Mo um, I'm, I imagine other people could use these maybe in a tunnel, you know, like on the back side of a layout to have it return back, something like that. Um, they could, they could help out in a pinch and these are only... I'm trying to remember what I think they're twelve dollars for one. No, it's not that much. But uh, if you order a bunch of them, the price goes down significantly. I bought ten of these and shipped. My total cost is one hundred and three dollars. So just something to keep in mind if you're doing some monorail stuff. If these were official Lego, they would have been twenty five each plus shipping or something like. They're they're getting they're getting pretty insane especially here in the United States. So that's why I picked these up. All right, now we've got this one. This is um, Droid Developer Kit Parts. My total cost is $36.50. Let's see what's inside here. Right. See, right off the bat, see what I mean? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> what's going to come in these lots. And this isn't even a Goodwill lot. Actually, a couple of these. Yeah, they look okay. All right, so, yeah, we just got bags of um, parts. Oh, boy. Anyone who, who's watched my channel knows what comes next. We, we got to pull it apart. Oh, wow. Uh, it's been a while since I've built one of these. 
try to get it apart. Drum roll, please. Batteries inside 2022. See that little, um, little bit of leakage. Dropping pieces. Okay, so just a little bit of cleaning is going to need to be done on the far end there. Not that bad. Uh, definitely seen worse. Uh, I have a bunch of these, but I actually have a project eventually I want to do where I would use like eight of these. <laughs> so the more the merrier. Um, and we'll just kind of keep going through. It's just more and more. Oh, there's just like yellow and weird color parts in here. I didn't really notice that in the picture, but it's fine. Um, I'll be piecing it together with uh, with other stuff. So there's the R2D2 head. And that's pretty much it. Um, it's like we did have the disc with it. Like I don't have enough of these. <laughs> All right. So that's about it for this one. All right. So this is our other drawer developer kit. 1973 for this one. But it's missing a lot. Um, kind of just bought it to have a box to put on the shelf. Um, for all of these sets, I would like to have a box copy of them. They don't have to be in great condition, but just pull down the box. You've got all the pieces in it, and you can relive that time in history. All right, come on. All right. So... Inside, everything looks good. We've got the um, original parts divider that came with the set. Not much on the piece count here. Um, but, you know, like I said, I mostly bought it for the box. And, um, you know, some of these, I mean, like, I, I don't know how many sets these were in, but I'm going to need some of those. And the instructions in fair condition except for that. Or, sorry, the Constructopedia, as uh, all of these Mindstorm sets were called. Sorry about that. And another disc. As far as I know, <laughs> piece hiding in there. As far as I know, there was really only one version of this disc. It's not like the RCX where you're going to have three different versions that could have came with it. Okay, I don't know how that goes back together. All right. And last but not least, it would not be a complete video without having one of these guys, of course, $50.79. Um, this box is kind of rough, so I'm not too worried about Let's see what's in the box. This has nothing to do <laughs> with this. Alright. Warranty card. Oh, look at that. The I've never had this before. This is the user guide for the LEGO Mindstorms remote control. Um, if you haven't seen it, I just did a short video on this. It's three or four minutes, but... Um, kind of packed full of information about this and some things you might not already know. We've got a version 1.0 disc, user guide, Constructopedia. Oh good. <laughs> More of the uh, cyber, what was cyber slammers, whatever it was. Um, I don't remember something with a rubber band. These would pop up if you hit the target or something. It's been a long time. And that's one of the reasons I bought it, to get another remote control. Drum roll, please. Yeah, looks great. Perfect. No batteries eating it alive. It feels light. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. No problems detected. Has the power jack. No scratches along the screen. This is like 
one of the best condition ones I have right now, <laughs> probably. <laughs> That's great. So we'll test this, see if it works. That's awesome. And, well, I guess it did come with batteries. <laughs> 2010. Thank God this was not inside something. Oh. So they must have had the ultimate accessory kit. So this is the user guide for a uh, rotation sensor. Very cool. I've never seen this before either. Um, so that'll be fun. Um, battery in this guy. Nope, no battery. Very good. More, oh yeah, it's okay. So it does have the rotation sensor, sweet. Um, of course the wires are garbage. We'll have to repair those like, like we do here. Another one of these guys. Cool. And this is not original. What is this? This might be oh, and a nine pin extension. Always good to have these. Cool with that. Motor two. Oh, yuck, yuck, yuck. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, well. Ooh, that sounds like a nice motor. Cool. Okay, um. Oh, my God. look at that oh that is disgusting um so all this is gonna have to be cleaned I guess oh my god that is one of the worst batteries I've seen like it looks like it exploded so we'll have to go through this god um Sorry, I've just got some PTSD forming right now. Uh. Now, if that doesn't date it, <laughs> I don't know what does. You would push your finger here and your finger here. And this would turn yellow and say good if it still had power. Um, these onboard... <laughs> Voltage testing. Um, let's see if I can find a year on this. Maybe that dates it too, that there isn't a date that I can find on here. There may be a date code or something, but I don't I don't see any mention of a, of a year. So that's surprised that hasn't exploded like it's like, like it's older brother there or younger brother. fake dude with a solid uh, stud on the head anybody in the comments know what this guy is so I saw a helmet floating around in here all right should I should I look this and see if it's got any power <laughs> you can actually see it's got some corrosion inside the negative terminal no date on here either, so that's probably very old. Well, okay. Well, that's it for this one. Pretty excited about the electronics out of this one. Motors, RCX, and remote control all presumably work. Um, that's generally the only thing that makes these things die is uh, battery corrosion more wires that I can repair and uh, lots of pieces anything under here 
Uh, I remember these guys? <laughs> I do. What is this? So at some point they printed off the minimum system requirements. Like, so you're gonna need um, a Pentium with a 90 megahertz processor at 16 megabytes of RAM. So make sure uh, <laughs> you've got that. All right, I think I've rambled on for long enough. So thanks for coming along for the ride. Um, you can check out my other videos. Some are more scripted and in depth and some are just like this where it's just kind of vlog style unboxing stuff or or whatever so i appreciate you watching and have a good one Shoes off camera here. <laughs>